Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. Today I've got something that every Steam owner should seriously consider, a fully bootable external Steam OS image. Now, this isn't just for tech heads or Linux junkies. If you're running Windows on your deck, love to experiment, or just want some peace of mind, this could be one of the most useful tools in your setup. Let's talk about what it is, how to use it, and why it is a total game changer. Stick around. Let's go. Let's go into the I took a 256 gigabyte SSD and popped it into my Steam Deck LCD and re-imaged it with SteamOS 3.7.8 from Valve's recovery image. Before I even chose my language, I pulled the drive out, imaged it, meaning I have a right out of the box image that can be written to any 256 gigabyte external drive, SSD, or micro SD card. Plug it into your Steam Deck, boot from it, and boom, you are in a clean, fully isolated Steam OS. No need to touch your internal drive, no complicated partitioning, no risk to your existing setup. A place to tinker without regret. Let's face it, part of the Steam Deck's charm is how much you can customize and tweak, but nobody wants to brick their system mid-mod. With this setup, you can go wild, experiment with mods, tinker around with system files, or potentially dangerous decky loader plugins. Now, normally you'd be gambling with your main install, but with this, you get a dedicated sandbox. Break it? Who cares? Just wipe the drive and reflash. You've got a testing lab that lives outside of your main OS. Effortless dual boot. If you're using Windows as your main OS on the deck, switching back to Steam OS can be annoying. And traditional dual boot setups, they're messy. But with this bootable image, there's no drama. Just plug it in, hold volume down while you're powering on, select your external drive, boom, you're back in Steam OS with zero fuss. Unplug it, reboot, and Windows is back. Clean, simple, reversible. Test new versions without risk. Want to try out the latest beta or preview build of SteamOS? Curious about the new features, but worried about breaking your stable setup? This drive lets you test different update branches in isolation. Install the beta channel, see how it runs with your games, your plugins, your setup, and decide for yourself if it's worth making the switch. If not, just power off, unplug, and roll right back to your known good environment. No re-imaging, no loss, no headaches. Troubleshoot gamer hardware issues. Here is a real world example. Let's say a game just won't launch or crashes for no reason. You've installed mods, tools, made all kinds of tweaks, and now you're not sure if it's your setup or something deeper that's the problem. Boot into this clean environment and try it there. If the game works, you know it's something in your internal setup. If it still crashes, now you're thinking hardware and not software. It's the fastest way to rule out user error and narrow down the root cause. Quick recovery option. Now, this isn't a full internal backup system, but it is a ready to boot environment. So if your main install ever gets messed up, won't boot, corrupted, misconfigured, whatever, you can still access a working version of SteamOS. You can boot into this, verify hardware functionality, even get yourself back online while you plan your next move. It's like having a Steam Deck safety net ready at a moment's notice. And setting it up couldn't be easier. Download my special image from the link below. Flash it to a 256 gigabyte or larger drive using Rufus or Belina Etcher on Windows or on the deck. Plug the deck into your Steam Deck with it turned off. Hold volume down while powering on. Select your external drive in the boot menu and you are in. That's it, no terminal, no scripts, no guesswork. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, if you want to grab the image and set this up yourself, check the description for the link down below. And if this helped you out, drop a like, hit subscribe, and tell me in the comments what you plan to use your brand new portable SteamOS build for. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, and we'll see you next time.